Hey, what's up everybody? So it's been a while since I did a video like this. I've been really busy, but right now I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing a lot of content because I finally got my schedule clear and we're gonna ma start making more content like this. So on this video is about the Canon R5. So I've been having, um, I don't wanna say problems because apparently it happens to everybody. Uh, not specifically use the Canon R5, but it's, Apparently it happens to every camera, whether it's in mirrorless or has a mirror on it. So the thing is that whenever I take the picture, especially a bright light, at, at first I thought it was my lens, but it's not, I change the lenses and I notice that it's on uh, every picture. So it's, it happens whenever it is a bright light, like whenever I'm taking like um, outside pictures. So I noticed like some purple dots and I kind of look online to see what it was because it wasn't there before and some people that were saying it's a dead piece so but it's really to me it's not um and some people they also say because I'm gonna show you a picture of what it looks like but to me it looks more like uh like it's dirty but um I don't know really because it does it looks purple it doesn't look like black spots so I even did the session cleaning with the um here with if you're putting it down what it does is when you put it here and telling to clean it what it, pretty much what it does is it check the sensors that's pretty much what it's doing but it's not there uh, in this if you didn't know the r5 it has like kind of like um like a window that whenever you turn it off it closes that window so i never leave i never open it whenever i change the lens so i don't know how if it is dirt that it got it there so on this video we're gonna see if that cleaning it manually like actually physically cleaning it um it fixes it so we're gonna be using one of these kits so one of these cleaning kits uh this one was 25 dollars for from bh photo and video so what's pretty much what it does it has uh fat wet swaps and fat dry swaps so I've, I've been seeing online that sometimes that does fix it for some people. So I think it might be like some kind of liquid, I want to say liquid or kind of like dust particles in there that it probably got in there. That's what it looks like. Um, so I'm going to try this first before I send it to Canon. Uh, if it is a dead piece, so apparently it's like a hundred, it starts 125 and you had to request a remapping the sensor. So um, I have a lot of photo shoots coming up, so obviously I cannot afford to send these right now and wait a couple months, or I don't know if it is months, a couple of weeks, but I had to make sure I have a clear schedule before sending these out because right now with the corona, as you know, everything's slow. But um, let's go on the computer and let me show you the pictures. So as you can see here, I did one of the tests that the instruction says to pretty much to take a picture of a white piece of paper um, and then put the aperture 20, put an aperture priority, put in on um, aperture 22 and then take a picture of it. So you cannot really see it unless you really zoom it in but in some pictures i was noticing like kind of like some dots especially sometimes it would be on people faces so that's when i started to notice and that will i zoom in because i thought it was like like try some my lens or something like that but it's, like i said before it's not the lens so you do have to zoom in a lot and sometimes it doesn't affect it i haven't noticed it on videos because i don't crop in that much so when i zoom in into more into like uh the two percent that's when i start noticing all this as you can see here as you can see here i'm swimming i know some people are gonna say you don't really need to swim in that much but sometimes i do crop in a lot and you can kind of see it and it does bother me anyways so as you can see here it has like a lot of dots here and the main one that it bothers me this one you cannot really see it on the pictures that that well but the main one that you can see is this one. This one is the main reason I'm doing this. So on this one you can see is more like a, it looks kind of like a hair kind of. So, and it has a lot here too. So I want to say it's more like a dust particle more than a dead pixel because to me a dead pixel would be more like 
like a straight dot more something like this then something like this so we gonna clean it out and see if um if that fixes it so hopefully um it does fix it and we don't have to send it to canon so it should be an easy fix um according to this and all the instruction that i have seen um so pretty much what you do is like swipe it like one time each way and then you throw it away so as you can see it comes with the wet and dry so we're gonna pass it with the wet wet first and then we're gonna pass it with the dry and once you use these ones um you can only use it once so once you pass it one time you cannot pass it again and you cannot reuse it so um they're a little expensive but i decided it's a little cheaper than actually sending to canon so let's try this out first and see how it goes so there's a few things that you need to do before you start doing this with your camera so first of all you have to make sure that you have enough like a uh, fully charged battery and then you're gonna have to go to menus and then you're gonna have to go to uh, let me see if i can find it so then you have to go to the sensor cleaning which for the r5 is on the settings uh, menu 4 on the bottom says sensor cleaning and then it's, it's uh, it has the auto cleaning power off which is always on and then the clean manually and the clean now is pretty much like i said before it is like clean it's pretty much shake the sensors and that's it and then when you put in cleaning manual what it does is it leaves the sensor open and you cannot touch anything so the only way to get out of it is to turn it off so you pretty much can be touching with all the buttons and nothing's gonna happen and if you even just press it shorter so that's why it's important to put it on this mode that way you don't mess it up with anything else so uh, let's put it on that and then now it's ready to I start working on the sensor so like i said we're gonna do the wet one first and you don't want to touch this the white part so what you're going to do one way this way if the sensor is bigger than then the swap what you're going to do is like passing one on the bottom another one on, on the top and then the same thing going this way one time and that's it so let's do this i'm sorry if you can try to put it on the right angle but i'm trying to do this right So now I'm gonna clean it with the uh, dry ones. I do see some dust particles now. So hopefully with this one, it does clean it out. So that should be it. So let's try. Uh, so let's turn it off. And let's try to put a lens. And let's try to see what it does on the pictures. So as you can see, it did work. Um, it was around this area. As you can see, it's zooming in at 200 like it was before. I cannot find it like I had suspicious that it was a dust particle so it was around this area I uh, took the same pictures and lens so all I did is clean it up um, easy to clean so as you saw in the picture it did help I mean it did took it away so the thing I didn't like about these swaps is that it looks like a smoosh on the sensor it's like it looks like whenever you put something wet like a red, uh, wet rag and you pass it through the window or through glass and then you just like wipe it down and you can see like a smoosh whenever you went through it even i went through through with the uh with the dry one 
um, I still live like a smooth mark. You cannot see it. It's not a lot, a lot, but whenever you flash it with the flashlight, um, I can see it. Hopefully I cannot see any problems later on, but as right now during my test, it did help, it did work, it did the job. So um, if you want to try it out and clean it yourself, instead of sending it for Canon, which is a lot more expensive than this, I kind of went on the medium size price budget. There's some of them for like $11. I kind of didn't trust that one too much. And then there's some of them for like um, $50, $60. I don't know if that would be better, but this one was 25 and I guess it did the job. Uh, I didn't like the way you did it, but it did the job. So yeah, so if you have, if you see particles like that in your sensor, the best way, to, the best thing to do would be to clean your sensor and because Thing happens, I don't know, honestly, I don't know how that dust particle, whatever it was, it got there there because I was keeping my caps on and when I changed my lens, I always have my camera off to make sure that window closes and protects the sensor. So I don't know why or how it got dirty, but I guess it does happen when you're taking it in everywhere. So I hope this video helped you out and thanks for watching.